Yo, what's going on guys? It's me, Scooby, and today I'm going to show you how you can get the job with debug screen in the latest version of Minecraft Bedrock Edition 1.18. So if interested, stick around. And like always, if you do not know how to install add-ons or you want this add-on for yourself, the links are in the description down below. All you need is this resource pack right here, the debug screen resource pack light RP version by Lucas PAH. And it comes with a cogwheel. This allows you to select the resolution. I'm going to leave it on default, but you can select all the different resolutions depending on which texture packs are on the world and all of that. You actually do want to activate this in the resource packs in the worlds, because you need some settings of the world enabled. Like in the game, you need two settings enabled, and that is show coordinates. So of course, this helps with showing coordinates and all that you needed for that. And secondly, you do need this experimental Molang features. But other than that, all you need to do is click play. Now you might be asking, hey, nothing looks different. Well, in this texture pack or resource pack or whatever you want to call it, you actually have to press a special button. Now on PC, it's actually F8. On mobile, there will be a button called F3 on the top of the screen. And on console, you have to click the inventory button twice. Now, if you don't want to do that, there's another option I'll show you later. I'm on PC, so if I press F8, you will see all this info comes up, like the Minecraft version and all that, the mode you're in, your FPS, the E is actually how much entity on like entities are in the area that minecraft colon overworld that tells you what dimension you're in of course you've got your position your coordinates i'm facing west so it's whichever way i face is you can see southwest east and all that um what biome i'm in plains if i'm on a chunk border or not currently i'm not on a chunk border but if i go over here you see i'm on a chunk border now negative z edge and what moon phase it is it's currently full moon obviously it's day i can't show you that but anyway, and also what day? Of course, this is a brand new generated world, so it's day zero. Now, a little thing is most of these features work only in your third person. So if I go first person, you can see a lot of the stuff was already gone. There's still some here, but specifically the facing and the entity count and the FPS only work in third person, which is a bit of a shame, but you can't blame them. This is an amazing add-on and it gives so much features that make it just like the Java version. Now, if you don't have the F8 button or you don't want to do it or on mobile, you want to click the button. All you do is go to settings. This works on all platforms. You go to your video settings. Now, they actually made a button right here for you to toggle it on or off. Now, I'm going to turn it on and as you can see, it's back, which is pretty neat. So if you're enjoying so far, please consider leaving a like and a comment and even subscribe it. Now, sadly, this only works on the latest version of Minecraft. Well, sadly or happily, whichever way you want to think about it. It only works on the 1.18 update because some of the features you need is on that version. So let's go to the nether. Currently I'm in the overworld, so if we go to the nether, it should display that we are in the nether. And before I even load it in, I, you could see that it says I'm in the nether, which is cool. And right now the biomes is nether wastes, which is pretty cool. So if we go back, you can tell I'm in the plains. If I go over here, this should be a jungle over here. So. As you can see, it switches over to jungle. So this helps you specifically find which biomes you're in, which is very cool. And as you can see, I just time skipped a bit. It says it's day two now, which is very cool. But other than that, if you did enjoy, make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe, share this with all your friends. Join our Discord server if you want to be part of videos. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.